it is pretty, got a nice crack there. This is how Fortnite makes me feel. This is, this is how Fortnite makes me feel. Hey guys, what is going on? I am Pooh Fesher and welcome to another video of Fortnite. The free game that has now cost me $60 in stupid dances and skins. And now $60 for a controller, probably more than I've ever spent on a video game before. But hey, it's a free game, you should definitely download it. Anyways, what you're stepping into right now is probably the maddest I've ever gotten in a long time. I think I'm developing an underlying anger issue that is being brought out by this wonderful game known as Fortnite. Alright, so what we're watching here is my first two games this morning. This, this one's my first. The second obviously comes after the first. But... I'm having a decent game, honestly. It was pretty slow in the beginning, but it was picking up. Everyone was trying to rush me here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut up for a second so you can watch this play out here. So pretty much everyone is diverging on this fucking spot on the map. Someone shot me with a, a rocket launcher, shot a rocket launcher, a grenade launcher at me. Don't know where he went, and then that guy came running up, and I was easily able to shotgun him. Didn't seem like he really knew what he was doing there. Now let me tell you, I've thrown my controller because of this game a lot of times before this. Honestly, I was starting to question my own strength because I've thrown my controller so many times, and it still never broke. So, I was starting to feel a bit like a baby, so honestly, do I regret completely destroying my controller as you'll see later in the video? I don't think so. I was a little bit floored to see that they were actually $60 to buy a new controller. Kind of made me second guess that decision to fucking just break it for really no good reason. Watch this here. For some reason, I can't build a fucking staircase there. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to build a staircase there. But I couldn't. The game's building mechanics are obviously getting fixed more and more. Every fucking update, they definitely fixed the building. Uh, so no one ever. And my building might look a little bit slow or amateur because I decided to turn on the... Or turn off the building reset option. So whatever building... Uh, piece that I had out last is the one that I open up when I open my building menu again And I'm still getting used to that But I think I want to get used to it and want to utilize that because most of the time I want to build stairs and I want to build stairs quick um, But yeah, it's still some getting used to and that guy I was honestly surprised that there's still someone behind me I was a little worried for that. So luckily luckily I was able to get him and honestly everything you know, is going pretty decent in this game. I usually really choke bad with the shotguns. I mean, I missed a few shots earlier, but I, it's, it's not too bad for me. I usually choke with shotguns a lot harder than this, believe it or not. And, and you know, I'm, I'm being a little bit more aggressive. I want to get more comfortable having an aggressive play style, and, and I guess this isn't aggressive at all. I lied, but I, I have a tough time getting this guy here. He, he's just in such a tough spot. My grenade launchers can't quite get there. And I can't really, he builds too quick. I can't really shoot him down with the distance that I have and, and everything. And then I get closer in my grenade launcher. I still can't like get it to where he is. It either, you know, falls off short of the cliff or falls off behind the cliff. So now I'm in a pickle and this guy's just fucking watching me. Luckily, I'm able to freaking take him out in stride. So now it's a 1v1 and I'm feeling pretty good. Like I got to clutch this, man. I got too many clutch kills in this game. I can't blow this one. But this guy's going to be a little cunt. And I really should use my jump pad here. I did not realize I had one, but in watching the uh, video, I mean, I realized I picked up one. And I'm, I'm up high, too, and this guy's shooting me down. There I go. But still, I'm not in, in too bad of a situation, because this guy doesn't really see me down here. 
He doesn't know exactly where I am. And then this is when I realized he has a, a fucking rocket launcher too, which scares me. I don't know why I wasn't using that earlier. He wasn't. Now he has it, which definitely makes me nervous. But I'm still not in a bad situation. I have 100 health, 69 shield. 69, of course. But I'm low, and this guy has a rocket launcher. So I know I got to get up because he's going to start rocketing me soon. So I go ahead and make my move up here on, on, on going up. And I give him the old faker route. Look like I'm coming up that way. Then come up the other way to hopefully catch him off guard, which... It pretty much works, because I get hit here, hit there, but he criticals me with his tack shotgun for 130 some fucking health, or 170 health, so I'm pretty much one hit. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't mean it! God damn it! God damn it! Damn it! As you could say there, I got a little bit mad, uh, but that was my recorded reaction. I did the PS4 share for this, so it recorded my microphone uh, volume during it. So it, it caught my reaction there. So that was my my real reaction. And obviously, I was flustered by it, but I couldn't be mad about that game. I feel like I did everything right except win. So I, I wasn't, I mean, I was mad, as you could tell, but I wasn't like, I didn't throw my controller yet, all right? but. What you're about to see here, you know, Tilted Towers, I'm going there in the first place. That's that's always bad news. But honestly, I was feeling confident after that. So let's see what happens here. I know I completely miss with all my shotgun shots. That's what I'm talking about with fucking choking with a shotgun. So this is the part where I'm flipping out and checking my controller. And now I'm going to switch to the video I recorded uh, right after this happened and while it was happening, really. And as you can see in this video up here, my hand is shaking. I am so fucking mad. Enjoy. So I just threw my controller after a game of Fortnite, of course. Spiked it on the floor. It bounced all the way over here. Made a nice mark in my wall across the living room. And this is what my controller looks like now. It is pretty, got a nice crack there. L1 button is gone. Don't know where it is. Don't know where my L1 button is. And L2 doesn't work. But it's on, it works. But, but this is how, this is how Fortnite makes me feel. This is, this is how Fortnite makes me feel.